Song of Songs 1 5. Shechora ani venava benot Yerushalayim keocholai kedar kiriot shalomo. First five begins with this word dark, and uh, this would have a reference to like black, or some English translations, I think the ESV does this very dark, but the idea here is is of having a dark complexion, I think. We're going to find this in a uh, later in the context that she's been out in the sun, so she's dark, but it is very dark, almost a black here. This word is used elsewhere to talk about Solomon's black hair, but in this case, the Shulamite woman is talking about herself. Very dark am I, or dark am I. And then we get this vav on the word lovely. The word lovely, we might go with comely, um, acceptable, something like this. I am dark, but lovely. So even though she realizes, and we're going to get this sussed out a little bit more, that being dark is not the most optimal thing because she's been out in the field, she still considers herself to be lovely or acceptable. And she's declaring this to the daughters of Jerusalem. And so this becomes a vocative of address. Now the vowel pointing here on Yerushalayim is a little bit weird. You notice that we don't have the yod here in the consonantal text, but most Hebrew texts will retain the vowel points. And so here you get the kamets beside the Hirik with the Athnach all in there together, and it all gets jarbled up in this particular text. I think the BHS maybe does that a little bit better, but it is Jerusalem, the daughters of Jerusalem. And then we get these comparatives here as the tents of Kedar. Kedar is a proper name there, tents of. Notice the masculine uh, plural construct, the tents of Kedar. Um, and as the curtains of Solomon. Here we have the feminine plural construct, curtains of Solomon.